Now getting some more breaking news on the broadcast vis-a-vis -vis the same story. Now we are learning that protests have erupted outside the Aam Admi Party offices. All this over the arrest of Sanjay Singh by the Enforcement Directorate last night. The questioning continues and as you can see the visuals on your screen, I believe these are Aam Admi Party workers. We are yet not sure but the kind of, uh, yes, you can see that uh, the slogan airing is against the Bharatiya Janata Party. So these are Aam Admi Party workers who have gathered in huge numbers outside the Aam Admi Party headquarters in the national capital. They, in fact, are protesting against the ruling dispensation and also the central agencies. The accusation remains the same, that this is a misuse of central forces by the Bharatiya Janata Party. And that's why you see the slogan airing outside uh, the Aam Admi Party against the BJP. Now, while this is happening outside the Aam Aadmi Party offices, there is another counter protest by the Bharatiya Janata Party that is now slated to take place at Rajkhat in the national capital. My colleague Sharon Elizabeth has filed a report for us. Let's take a look. Yes, uh, I just want to bring you these visuals from outside Rajghat where the BJP leaders, MPs and MLAs are in fact gathering over here. Uh, now we'll uh, go across to Basri Suraj. Uh, Ma'am, what is the purpose with which uh, all the BJP leaders have come here? We've come here so that one, Bapu becomes an inspiration and we have come here to be able to do the same thing so that better sense prevails on this corrupt government of Aam Aadmi Party and also we pray that the people of Delhi find respite from the corrupt Aam Aadmi Party government soon. Uh, the allegation that is coming in from the Aam Aadmi Party at this point is that this is political vendetta. Closing to the heels of uh, general elections, all these uh, you know will keep on happening. Opposition parties, a leader will be picked up. They have been saying even if a rupee ka bhi agar corruption dikhaye, to BJP dikha sakti hai. To agar nahi dikha sakti hai, to BJP politics chhod. This is absolutely false. They are a party of storytellers and they ha have a penchant for actually creating up and propping up false narratives. If you see paragraph number 44 of the Honorable Delhi High Court judgment by which Mr. Manisa Sodhya's bail was rejected, Two aspects have already been established before the court by the uh, investigating agencies. One, Mr. Sosodia manipulated the liquor policy in such a manner that liquor barons of Aam Aadmi Party's choice, their pockets are filled. Second, 90 to 100 crore rupees worth of kickbacks were rooted to people like Dinesh Aroda, who is an accused himself in this scam, who has decided to become an approver. What that means is that now he will be actually be supporting the prosecution's case. Dinesh Aroda's statement is that it is Mr. Sanjay Singh who facilitated the meetings between Aam Aadmi Party leadership and him where this entire criminal conspiracy was hatched. All right. So that was Basri Suraj uh, telling us how uh, Aam Aadmi Party leaders are very much involved in this. We also have in fact uh, our leaders and MPs who are in fact now walking inside uh, Rajghat now. We'll follow them. So around uh, three of the MPs have in fact come over here and they are uh, from here you can see the visuals of uh, these uh, uh, these MPs and MLAs who are standing there and they are now going inside Rajghat uh, to pray for a corruption-free Delhi is the claim by the BJP. Right, Sharon. Thank you so much for that report that you filed for us. I also want to understand, uh, considering you will be through the course of the day bringing us various reactions of the BJP leaders and workers. Uh, the claim by the Aam Aadmi Party is vendetta politics uh, by the Bharatiya Janata Party. The BJP, on the other hand, is in fact wanting that the Delhi Chief Minister, Mr. Arvind Kejriwal, step down in solidarity because they are claiming he is the kingpin of this entire scam. Even the Supreme Court now has questioned the ED as to why not make uh, or uh, in fact uh, question the Aam Aadmi Party as a whole as a beneficiary to the proceeds of the crime. That becomes an important question because where is this headed? How is the Aam Aadmi Party even trying to sustain itself from all of these charges while they claim vendetta politics against the Bharatiya Janata Party?